Melendez. Yes, we're back for the quarantine classic time. I'm Joe, that's Nick, and that's George, and that's Steve over there. And uh, we're still in lockdown, and uh, we're all still pretty sane, right? You guys doing good? Oh, yeah, without a doubt. Yeah? I think George is losing his mind. We were doing a little tech chat up, check before here, and uh, he doesn't seem to be quite all there today. Is that true, George? <laughs> I am here today. Okay. <laughs> All right. We'll see how today's taping goes. It's Saturday night. This is our quarantine classic bonus show we're doing while we're all locked in, which could be till the end of time. Who knows? And uh, to start us off with a little video content. Oh, first, we want to mention we have a special guest, Reese from Australia today. Uh, he's he's going to be zooming in. We actually pre-taped it, and he shows a lot of jingles and uh, commercials. Australian. Australian. Australian yeah. Specifically, which is, so, I'm very, I'm very hot on those right now. Yeah. So. Yeah, and he, he also has some tedium. He also has some excitement too. So yeah, it's a good segment. Reese, of course, is the guy who we. Uh, he's uh, from Australia. We've been playing some of our favorite jingles uh, on on our Tuesday night show, and he would just send us unsolicited uh, clips on Twitter of him just belting it out, like just belting out these jingles, like very accurately. And so uh, he also is a VHS collector and said, hey, let me come on the show. We invited him on and it's, it's going to be great. So I was in the jingle uh, mindset. And I think Ross from St. Louis sent us a clip from Jewel Osco, a regional grocery store chain in Chicago. And we got one of their training videos. Yeah. From Todd Hansen from The Onion. Yeah. He hooked us up with that. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't, but terrible, I never, terrible training video. Yeah. But I don't think I'd ever seen like what videos were meant to go out to the public for them. So this is actually a, a jingle. Soulful jingle from uh, Jewel Osco. What year? Don't know. Friends. Oh, so it's pretty, it's pretty recent. Yeah. Last year, I think. There, the over there. So that's, let me just play the end. Yeah, yeah, so, I want to hear that again. I spoke Yeah, it. it's sorry. okay, but it's got a real soulful ending. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's kind of got that faux raspy voice that I think a lot of commercials did at this time. Take a new look at an old friend, Jewel. See, see, now when I do my Joe's Jingle Jam countdown, the hot 20 of the, this, you know, my, my new 20 favorites, yeah, I'm going to play every single one, like the, the hot part from every jingle, I'm going to play it five times in a row. Just the jingle just, part. Because you, you can't get it just once. You can't appreciate it once. When you listen to those jingles, like when you're in, in a city and like the O'Reilly's auto parts song comes on you've yeah. heard it at least 500 times so that's what i want to do with this show is i want you to hear it like 500 times just like the people the locals right and the complaint about uh, those commercials and jingles is that they were so irritating and so you're deliberately doing that then is that the idea that that's one way of looking at it okay but i wouldn't i wouldn't describe it that way no <laughs> like 1877 cars for kids i mean i think Ooh. you could hear that twice and that would be okay that like, one's even too much for me yeah I can't <laughs> oh that. wow there was one time I, I had a guy fixing fixing my cable, and we we tested it, and we had to turn it on, and that commercial was on. It was me and the cable guy, and we both looked at each other, and we we're like, "This fucking commercial!" Like we just really bonded oh, you over both our hatred. Did? Yeah. yeah. He looked at me, and he's like, "This fucking commercial!" I was like, "I know, I I hate it." <laughs> I would watch. There was a time when I was working a regular job where I was uh, would watch New York One every morning, like just to get a quick bite sized what the news of the day was. And they would always play the Sleepy's mattress commercial, which is a New York only thing. But the, the um, or no, there's two. There was rock, 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 rock away, away bedding. Away. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and the other one was trust Sleepy's for the rest of your life. Yeah. And I would have to hit mute immediately on that because otherwise the rest of the day, those would be in my head. Yeah. So just familiar Jingle with Jam. those? Oh, yeah. I'm okay. no Sleepy's well. Yeah. Um, yeah, Joe's Jingle Jams coming at you, 2020, <laughs> right around the corner. I'm writing them down, coming at you. I can't uh, wait. Stay can't tuned. I can't wait for those to come at me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, hey, let's do some terrible photos, huh? Terrible photos of us. Hey, do we have a every, graphic for that? Not yet. Anybody do one? I didn't do one. No, do but one. If, if everybody sends me their most emblematic photo of themselves, I might just do like a morphing technology of this frame I have right now, and then it will morph into the terrible photos and then a graphic for next time. I like okay. it. 
send okay. me send me one um who wants to start off this week i'm excited about mine go for it okay, okay. i'm gonna start with mine okay so i only found one bad photo of me it's a pretty bad one and then uh, I, i'm gonna i'm switching it up and i'm gonna show a couple of bad photos of nick and a couple oh. bad photos of steve too so, oh okay. awesome awesome it's, it's almost those... like you like tormenting other people more yeah, than so i don't strange. know it, these photos of you guys made, a, made me laugh harder than the ones of me so i, was, oh, I, I got, got some pretty bad ones of me so let's okay. see if you can outdo me Okay, so uh, I'm going to show you a family photo um, of me and my brothers. We got it. It was a church photo taken uh, at probably like 1991 or so. And, uh, you know, me and my brothers, we're not like hideous people. But in this photo, you would think we were. <laughs> and, I, and I blamed the photographer because before the photo was taken, he said, all right, guys, say Cindy Crawford. Uh, and we all said Cindy Crawford. You have to say cheese. I know exactly. Jeez, but he, jeez, he, he, jeez. he was trying to be funny. So uh, oh, our teenage boys, you guys yeah, just love Cindy Crawford. Exactly. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah. So this is uh, this is my brother's reaction to the guy saying Cindy Crawford, uh, and that's that's Alex, and that's you know it's funnier for us because we know that he doesn't look this dopey. Um, mm. and we we will go over to uh, he looks pretty dopey, doesn't he? Then we yeah. go over to my brother Andy, and Andy <laughs> he's a you know. He's a principal. He's an athletic director. He's, uh, you know, he was captain of the football team, but he looks like, you know, he looks simple here. Yeah, and he's then, kind of a, kind of got, a, got a dauber look to him there. From yeah, college. yeah, it just looks yeah. kind of, maybe it's the bangs, I don't know. But then yeah. there's me, and I just, I steal the show. Just, uh, <laughs> you look that. genuinely excited about Cindy Crawford. Now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy. <laughs> you think she's about she's, to come around the corner. <laughs> she's so pretty. <laughs> Uh, and How did just, you know? <laughs> and just look at that goiter. That thing, <laughs> that yeah. thing is a monster in the braces. It's oh, terrible. Yeah, that's like pencil neck geek territory there with the Adam's apple. That's like Ichabod Crane level. I don't have that anymore, do I? I outgrew yeah. that, right? I, do well, have... I, I think fat grew around it, so just kind of. <laughs> is that what it was? Okay, yeah. The second chin is now covering it. <laughs> Maybe the third chin is. It did you some favors, actually. Yeah. 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 Wow. Um, so now I'm going to focus on uh, Nick here. Great. Looking I, forward to I showed it. my terrible photo. So now, have you guys seen this one before? This yeah, one was we've all red, seen the Red Robin photo. This was taken in a Red Robin. Nick was uh -huh. uh, consenting. Clearly, he's looking into the camera. He's yeah. doing a big old thumbs up. Yeah. He's, he's acknowledging it, and he's posing for it. So he's a willing participant. Yeah. In not not in having it posted repeatedly on my social media. But, well, that's uh, that. I was just going to mention that. I uh -huh. put it up on Nick's Facebook, and then he unfriended me from Facebook. Zero, zero consent to that. Well, but it's a photo of you that you consented to, that you, and you don't look that bad. I did not consent to being looking like uh, Dom DeLuise in a photo. And Dom, having... Delu Dom DeLuise is a very successful actor. Is That's actor? true. You know what? I'm going to change my tune. I like this photo. <laughs> I'm glad you repeatedly posted it on Facebook. Here's one that uh, Nick didn't give me consent for. Oh, I great. Take lot, I, <laughs> I take a lot of photos of Nick sleeping. I have a whole collection of Nick sleeping because his mouth's usually on airplanes because his mouth's usually gaping. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> I know I'm susceptible to gravity. What can I say? What a what an ass! <laughs> and a 5 a.m. flight to Tucson. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. <laughs> what a fool! <laughs> I don't, I don't think this photo is that bad. I think you actually kind of cool. Yeah, thank you. So uh, and then, but sometimes uh, I will take advantage of Nick's mouth op being open. I think I've shown this before, but I'll put like a piece of paper from a straw into it and. Uh, and then he won't even know it, and he'll be sleeping with his mouth agape, and uh, he'll have a piece of uh, paper in his mouth while he's sleeping. Uh, yeah, I'm quite a dummy. Egg on my face for that. Way to be unconscious, geek. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, did, I, I had one of my wife, of Albertina, and uh, me putting paper in her mouth, but she would murder me if if she knew that i showed it i might show it next week i mean she doesn't watch, <laughs> she doesn't watch the show so she, there's no way she's gonna know i see so there are consequences but, when you uh torment her but yeah. nobody else <laughs> got it all right so steve and i uh, uh about boy. a year ago steve and i went to uh what was it disneyland well we went to spring training baseball we watched some yeah. baseball games and then we went to um what, what's that called uh, disneyland or disney epcot World? Ep it was disney world but disney we went world, to epcot. We went epcot and then we did the going around the countries yeah drinking around the world it's called drinking around the world that's what it was yeah. and uh and we we ate at different places around the world too and it was pretty fun actually uh -huh. and but 
you know, Steve ended up spending a lot of time in the bathroom. I can't remember why. <laughs> so I, I started a little photo. Uh, oh, boy. A little photo of <laughs> all of Steve's. <laughs> Steve in the stall. <laughs> called Steve oh, you wear gaps? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. It's a little series I call Steve in the Stall. And then uh, I, I would send it to his wife, Liz. And uh, didn't I? I sent it to Liz, right? I'm Saying, sure like, you did. Time, you know, interesting enough, I blocked this from my mind. I wish there were the pants that you wore uh, when you were in Thailand around your ankles. Yeah, that's true. That would have been from funny. last week. Photoshop them in. Well, yeah. then he, he got wise to, to my photo uh, project, and uh, he started taking photos. <laughs> of me. Yeah. This presumes that you were also in a stall, though. Am I right or no? Well, I, no, well I, maybe on one of them I was in the By stall. the way, if you look down, there's all these unsuspecting <laughs> people <laughs> as you go. There's a lot of, yeah, that was busy. Some may say it's George and Nick. We're not going to. <laughs> uh, uh, and then uh, I capped it all off with one final one of Steve at the urinal. It's not a terrible photo, but. It's um, a good place to arrest your smart water, too, I think. Yeah. <laughs> not, uh, <it's> just <laughs> that's, that's George in the background there in the orange shirt. So, yeah. Oh, uh, boy. All right. So, yeah, that's, uh, those are my terrible photos. Oh, boy. All right, let me get mine over with here. These are all me, because I thought the idea was to be <laughs> yeah. self-deprecating. Self yeah. uh, I was playing by the same rules as Nick. Yeah, okay. Uh, well, I have a church photo, too, and uh, I had a tendency to ruin photos. This might be more cute, funny, than uh, unflattering, but you can see uh, my sister down there um, had just spit up on my mom's shirt, and I, just, I think I had a tendency to ruin family photos there. Oh, I'd say. Maybe it was the photographer, Cindy Crawford, um, <laughs> before she was born. Uh, that, that's one of them. Uh, this one, you guys saw uh, how cool I was in the Miami Vice era. I loved your mom's hair in that last one, too, by the way. Yeah. yeah. It was kind of like a mushroom top kind of a thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this one just gives you an idea of the kind of... Uh, I don't know, understated, just effortless cool I had in middle school. <laughs> I think I was just kind of, um, just kind of like didn't have to do too much, just kind of, you know, be yourself and. Uh, <laughs> less was more. Less was right? more. You're just simple, yep. minimalistic. <laughs> what does the sign say behind you out of curiosity? Can we I read think, it? Yeah, I think it's something night. It's like, uh, it, it was some student council event that I was okay. in charge of. So it was like a da dance or uh, something like that. Yeah. I don't like it. I have a suspenders related question for you. Did you wear Should. the did you wear the suspenders for pants holding up purposes or for style reasons? Uh, a little of both, because oh, uh, yeah? when you're a husky kid, you don't really have a, a waist that that pants just tend to cinch to. They uh, just kind of belts, belts don't do it. Uh, well, belts do it, but they're uncomfortable because then when you sit down, your belly hangs over the belt and kind of flips down. Gotcha. And uh, so yeah, didn't go with okay. the belts. Suspenders were. And uh, I've worn a shirt on the show before that somebody said, hey, is Nick a referee? Does he work in a Foot Locker? Uh, no, it's my McDonald's uniform. And my parents, against my will, took my picture of me getting changed for my first day at McDonald's. So there's 1990 or 91. And I still have that shirt. Still yeah. uh, have Look at that it. full head of hair, occasion. too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Full head of hair. In fact, uh, barbers used to say, like, your hair is so thick, it's difficult to cut. It can't be trained to, to part. So it just would kind of all lay there. And uh, if, I could, if I could talk to them now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what happened, Nick? <laughs> you see, uh, I got a perm as a joke. And uh, I, uh, let me show one more that doesn't. I, uh, I love the wood grain paneling. That was my basement, yeah. Okay. Uh, it couldn't be more of a basement if you guys Oh, tried. yeah. So uh, the guys from Everything is Terrible, we did a versus show uh, to kind of seal off our rivalry where they showed some of their stuff, we showed some of our stuff. And we destroyed them, by the way. We should, we should know. We did destroy them. <laughs> yeah, audience voting determined that we won. But it was an arbitrary scoring system, but who cares? We still won. They may have ultimately won in the long game because they made grotesque puppet versions of Joe and I. Uh, <laughs> that's true yeah, yeah the one of me and uh and uh yeah. wearing an i heart new york shirt and uh, uh -huh. joe's got his, his kind of like alcoholic nose there uh-huh yeah <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the patchy beard and, a leroy lockhorn nose yeah, yeah. and uh then they they came out and did grotesque caricature uh, versions of us talking and uh yeah i mean uh, 
And look, look at your widow's peak there too. They I know. Widow's peak on there. They asked us if we wanted the puppets afterwards, but we're like, we have to fly back home. I, I don't think we could fit these in the on the plane. I know. So, I know. I so where are they now? I don't know. I think they're in L.A. in their warehouse somewhere. Yeah, they travel around in a van, and they have a huge warehouse, you know, facility there. So yeah, yeah. But they still exist. I could probably get them if I ever drive out to L.A. Yeah, yeah. All right. Who who do we want to go next? Uh, I'll go next. Sure. Um, Sadly, I have uh, no pictures of, uh, I did, you know, I thought about using pictures from that very same trip of Joe, but, you know, Joe always takes just bad photos of himself on purpose, so I felt like there was nothing. Well, that, that's the problem I had with bad photos of myself, because I'm always making a dumb expression anyway. I feel like at my funeral, when they, like, put pictures around, like, my, my open casket, mm -hmm. um, all the photos are going to be, like, me doing dumb guy faces. Oh, I have a Why don't we of... just pose your corpse to have a, a dumb guy a face? A dumb guy face? Yeah, we'll talk yeah. to, like, the... Let's the make a pact right here to do yeah. that. Yeah, just like <laughs> a... It's, a, it's an open kind of viewing, a... and it will be a... All right. Who needs the, photos? I'll put it in my will. <laughs> Perfect. All right, the first we're going to show is my Red Robin version, so here you yes. go. Were you at a Red Robin? I was not. Can you see it? <laughs> yeah. I can okay. see it. Okay, yeah. because I cannot. For some reason, it, it uh, jumped out of my... There it is. Uh, uh, and I think this is one that was accidentally taken, because you can see the look on my face. Yeah, you don't look... Prepared don't look like I was photo. expecting. Nope. I'm like, how does this phone work? You look like a tough guy. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, you can also see up your nostrils, which is very important for the yeah. Red yeah. Robin photos. Uh -huh. and I, I feel like this expression is what you would have on your statue at a park. Okay. <laughs> right. a park statue expression. Like I'll on top it. of a horse or something? Yes, exactly. Yeah. You're a general. All right. A Red Robin general. <laughs> um, it only gets worse from there. That was my, possibly the best one. Um, the next two, this is like an offshoot of Red Robin, but even worse because you really see my man breasts here. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, yeah, that is unflattering. Yeah. Bravo. Terrible, so, terrible yeah. framing, too. Oh, yeah. everything. I don't know who took that because it wasn't you're, me. And Probably my wife or something. Yeah. You're looking at your phone with a blank expression, and yes, your, your left man breast is. Just, oh, it's just out there not hanging good. out. Nope. Not nope. Good. Not flattering. No. Um, That's a great one. Hold on, let me go. To the uh, you know what? One. I tip my hat to you for showing that one. Oh yeah, no, this, they're all going. That's it. These are all. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish with what I think is the, the worst photo of me of all time. So that means this one goes next. Somehow, when I was um, just out of college, we decided we drove cross country and got into Mount Rushmore really early in the morning. Watched the sun come up there, and there was nobody in the park. So uh, somehow, I thought it was a good idea to strip down to my boxer shorts and pose in front of uh, Mount Rushmore. Uh -huh, it's uh, that's uh, me in my boxer shorts uh -huh. uh, many, many years ago. God and bless America. last, um, and definitely the worst, I'm, well, I'm hoping it's the worst photo I've ever taken, but Joe, Joe may find some of me. Why were, you the, why were you there? That's the second photo of your boxer shorts, by the way, of the day. Um, true, why, true. Why were you at, why were you there so early? Because we, you're driving cross country, so you just drive, and then like we, I don't know if we drove through the night or something like that. I think yeah. we drove through the night, parked. I mean, and in the parking lot, and there was nobody there. Like, the, and the gate was up, so you could drive uh -huh. right into the parking lot. We didn't have to pay. Um, slept so, in the van, and then got up and you know at sunlight, uh, you know sunrise. It seemed like the right there. thing to do. So now I'm going to ask you this, Steve. What at, at what? Okay, so you were an athlete in high school and in college, and yep. then. And then all that went away after a yeah. while. Where was that photo? Was that after being an athlete? Or were you after. Yeah, yeah, no, after. You can see because I'm still kind of thin. I haven't gotten to, like, really uh, let everything go where I, where I got too much later. Yeah. Um, but, you know, still was not in but your you know, breast wasn't training. Your breast wasn't as developed as it was in the photo before that one. Correct, correct. Right. So yeah, you weren't was quite there, so you were, no, no, like, no. in the this middle zone. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Well, okay. it was like one, I, I do a lot of peaks and valleys because then I think I got into better shape than that. And then worse. And then since then, it's just been worse, worse, okay. worse. We so don't want to see the ones, we don't want to see the ones where you get in better shape. No, no, okay. No. Well, I, luckily, I did not choose that. And Joe, you set me up perfect here. So I was a big, huge sports fan um, growing up. I played football. Uh, I had the opportunity to go to the Rose Bowl. A friend got passes. We had like this ESPN where you could go and interact with celebrities and one of the celebrities I got to meet is in this next photo it's Jim Plunkett the quarterback <laughs> and oh boy I can't believe we're gonna show this here it is look at that guy right there 
Like, I don't <laughs> know. Like, there's so much going on. Plunkett is ashamed. I think I'm like, trying oh. to sit back. I don't know why. It's given me like a third and fourth chin. Um, but yeah, that's, I think, I, I prefer the, the one on my breasts over that. Not to, not to be, not to be. <laughs> Not to be mean. Wait, keep it up. Keep it oh, up. Oh. I was lose, somehow losing the uh, the ability to hear you. Hold on, I'll put it up. You, you yeah. can be mean. Put it up. But I honestly, I think you kind of look. I think you kind of look like a thumb. You know, it's a big toe. You can barely you kind hear of me. look like a thumb, and then like with oh, sideburns oh, on, yeah. and then a little hat. I'm gonna work on that this week. I'm gonna work on a Steve Lawrence uh, Jim thumb Plunkett. Photoshop. <laughs> I'll do Jim Pluckett on this. Plunkett just on this just put a just put Steve's hat on a thumb. There we go. Yeah, yeah, George. Oh yeah. Steve. This side of the thumb, though, I think we yeah, can. Oh, it's not this side. More nail. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We get the wrinkles of the face. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Boy. And um, do, you have a, do you have a little hat that you can put on your thumb? Yeah, there's George, Steve. There we yeah. go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. Wrinkles. Yeah. Yep. There you go. No, that was a good one, and I was so pleased uh, when I got to meet him. I was so happy. Good and batch. I saw the photo later, and I was just like, "Well, <laughs> like, I'm I can, sure this is anyone." And, until until after I get married and the marriage is stable, yeah, that's then, it. You then know, it's and you cashed seat. in your chips. Yeah, yeah. you, so you've never shown that photo to anybody, right? I don't believe so. That's no. a quarantine oh, wow. classics exclusive. Wow. Yes, that's right. And you know what? It's so cool that you got to meet Jim Plunkett, whever that is. <laughs> you know, you, <laughs> you don't know who Jim Plunkett? No, I've heard of Jim Plunkett. Pick. I'm I'm sure. Yeah, no, only a, a player to win two Super Bowls and not be start two Super Bowls and win and not be in the Hall of Fame. Hmm. Okay. Well, I think he's in the Hall of Fame quarantine classics right yeah, now. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> he he actually asked me for the photo. He's like, "Excuse me, I've never had my photo taken with a before." <laughs> his, his, you, mind? you know, I went to the NFL Hall of Fame and they have like bronze busts of all the Hall of Fame members. <laughs> I want yours right now. <laughs> Just we'll have to sneak it in. He can get in, but the rule is yours has to be right next to his. <laughs> yeah. Plunkett, Jim Plunkett wanted that photo of, of just so he could show his buddies you. In it. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, he's like I want to look like a thumb. He's like, I want to show Jim McMahon this photo. Can you uh, send me the photo of you looking like a thumb? Yeah. All right, George, what do you got? We're running short on time here. So. Okay, so uh, here are some uh, George classics. This is from a... a um, party in 2013 i don't know where the hat came from uh, <laughs> not that long ago i like no. that. and early in the yolo right yeah yeah right around yeah. the start it wasn't my hat it wasn't this was in, i it saw this a as double a yolo yeah you only um, yolo twice on this one yeah but yeah. it's uh great uh dental work shown as always and then i don't wait, wait wait i don't think i've ever seen you this animated before though and like well we got- it was at a party and yeah. i was i'd had like maybe two or three bottled waters by that point oh uh, yeah so you know oh you look really hydrated I yeah. <laughs> extremely uh so then here is uh this would the next one will be from the year 1994 in a kids uh store next to the bookstore where i worked uh I, not sure oh if- yeah there, oh, there we go yeah. yeah that's uh madeline and me are you wearing my McDonald's uniform? In it that looks picture? exactly <laughs> like it. Yeah. I was that that was the outfit I wore just about every day of the nineties. It was light blue jeans <laughs> and uh, a short sleeve uh, striped shirt, button up shirt. Looking okay. good. Tell tell me about your body language here. Like what? Do you I was know, sad. You there? I, no, 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 I was just I was ashamed of, of was everything. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess. That's I like your best. glasses too. Oh well, I'll have to find those. Those are those. You kind of had my places. mom's mushroom cut here. Yeah, we used to go. Her and I used to go together to get these. And I found this. I all the photos I was finding before were from just Facebook because I don't have any photos here. But I went deep on archive.org to GeoCity sites that have not existed for about oh. 15 years and found that. That's why it's so That's so, great. But it looks like even back in '94, you could grow a decent beard, right? You get some. I am a, right of there. Greek extraction, so I I became. When I became Harry, it happened. Have you have you ever done a big full beard before? Yes. In fact, uh, next week's bad photo, I will show you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, will, I will show you one from uh, 2015. That is pretty magnificent. Here's the, here's the last one. Uh, this was uh, this would have been 1991, um, 11th grade. 
Um, oh, but I look like I'm nine. Man. I think I look like I'm nine or ten there. But I was you do. 16, 16, you 16 or 17. 16 there? Yeah. Wow. Old enough to drive a car right there. Yeah. Oh, man. And yeah. so what, why were you dressed up? Was that for prom or what was that for? <laughs> <laughs> no, those require other people to go with, right? No, were this you the, was were, were you were you the prom king here? Is this your prom king photo? This, this is, this is yes. Th- wow, this was afterward, after maybe oh, three bottles off. of water. This and is that, uh, this was for it, choir. Oh right, yeah, you had to wear dress. You were the choir there. king. Then. I, I was. Okay. Uh, that yeah. just reminded me of one of me and Madrigal singers, where I'm wearing a tunic. It, you know, that last photo uh, looked like you were living your philosophy of your hat, which is you only live once. So yes. I think that was, <laughs> you, you're embodying that. Well, the, Mel- the Melindas, you <laughs> viewers have been sending us uh, some, some of your unflattering We've got some photos. great ones, yeah. So let me just show Nathaniel Metz. Now, he admitted that this one was intentionally uh, bad. He tried to do a, a terrible smile, but mission accomplished. Yeah, it's a pretty it's terrible. Good. Yeah, we, we will allow him if, like, I mean, he's doing it intentional. I don't like intentionally Me bad. Me either. Yeah, but going I, forward, I would say no, but. But he did nail this one. That is a terrible yes. smile. It's very Chris Kattan. Got it in the yearbook. Scott, yeah. our pal Scott, sent this one. I, I think this is a pretty unflattering. Uh, picture of scott here scott yeah. r uh he, he he sent me the uh, note with it saying that his friend they were camping and his friend just took a flash photo <laughs> unexpectedly so i think there's genuine fear in his eyes yeah <laughs> yeah yeah not great uh this is a good one from uh evan who said he was in a christian funk band and uh said, oh wow it's a batman shirt right yeah Cur- no that is a michael buffer shirt oh Oh wow! Ooh, let's get ready to rumble, Michael Buffer. He, uh, I guess, had it does own. look like a Batman shirt. Uh, yeah, it's a Michael Buffer shirt. I give that hat better. two Steves. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, this is a good one from I think her name is Liz. She sent us this on Twitter. This is a classic bad photo. She looks oh, miserable. Yeah. Oh, it's her yeah. birthday. Oh, that's great. Let's zoom in on that a little bit. Can we see? Can we I don't see know. Am I able to? Yeah, yes. There you go. Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that misery. Yeah. does not want to be there. Yeah. Oops. Okay. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> that's probably my personal it's, favorite. It's supposed to be like a, a happy day, too. Yeah. I know. And here's a little bonus of uh, Matt from the UK who sends us stuff occasionally. Found a guy on Twitter who kind of looks like Steve. So I thought, you know what? It's part of the unflattering picture. <laughs> I'll take it. Look like Steve. Yeah, yeah. kind of holding up. Uh, I think this guy's name is Marky or something. But uh, anyway, that's like ter- that's terrible photos of us. Send us your unflattering photos to info Thanks, at, at foundfootagefest dot com, and we will continue to show these until I, the end, end of time. I'm thinking, Nick. I know you have a vision for the graphic of this, but I feel like the the graphic now is is Steve with Jim Plunkett. I think it's that. <laughs> I think it's just like well, zooming hey, on Plunkett. If you <laughs> want to take it off my hands, go right ahead. I think. Uh, <laughs> I trust I your show, judgment on this one. Oh, then I want to show like Plunkett in action, you know, like action shots of Plunkett, like yeah. <laughs> getting that second Super Bowl, and then like all the way to Steve yeah. Plunkett. A yeah. stadium full of Steve's heads. <laughs> <laughs> With the NFL films announcer. Yeah. Uh, got, I think Steve's got the number one ranking. I think we should seed them. By the way, I think I have like the top five. I don't know. You guys <laughs> got to come strong. <laughs> yeah. We're going to have to up our game next week. Yeah. It's we, because we Steve is so him. dignified all the time. Yeah. Whereas, like every Nick and Joe photo, every every photo is designed to be goofy. But yeah, yeah. that's what the one thing I was thinking when Joe was like, "I hate when people try to be, make a bad photo." I was like, "Every photo I have of you is the same look." What? Yeah. No, I didn't say I hate it when people do it. I don't like it for this segment. Right. Okay. This that's segment what I'm saying. Like, I do like it. I love that he did that horrible photo. I love yes. that he did that, but not for the segment. Right. right. You know what I mean? It has okay. to be unintentional. Let's get into a, another video, and this this is sort of jingle adjacent, right, Joe? This is your uh, Kmart music. Oh yeah, yeah. This isn't a video though. This is um, this is a, so somebody sent me this a long time ago, and I think this is good for quarantine classics because right now I've, I'm sick of all my own music. I'm sick of podcasts. I can't listen to people yapping about nothing for two hours, like well, I guess like what we do. Um, but so. I needed something else. And somebody reminded me of the, the other day of this. Take a look. So on archive.org, there is this. They, they, some guy worked at, hold on, I'm looking for it here. Oh, here it is. Um, 
Do you see that? On archive.org, this guy, Mark Davis, wow. he collected all the music that would play over. He worked there and he collected all the tapes and he brought them all and he uploaded all of them onto archive.org. And I've been downloading them and you'll see, I don't know if you can see, can you see, I, I'm zooming in. Oh yeah. Yeah. You see like for each month, oh wait, I'm trying to, there we go. For each month, they'll do new ones. So like, like November, 1990. So right now I'm on uh, April. And that was just for the auto service. They had different music and different yeah, apartments exactly. apparently. Yeah, exactly. Right. And, and if you read this guy's bio, he says that um, they would play these things nonstop on 14 hour loops on a, on a cassette recorder that would turn over to the other side. Right. They would play constantly. So there's so much hiss. These things have been played to death. <laughs> so I just wanted to play one that I was listening to this week that I really love. It's like you're listening to music around the house and you just play it and it goes on for like two hours. But here's, uh, here's, here's what it sounds like. This is for April 1992. Um, the best you that's how they all start. From Kmart Radio. KMRT. It's Sarah by... Yeah. Uh, who sings that? Good. So you can listen to this while you're around, doing stuff around the house, you're working. Shop. All of a sudden Many cities have local ordinances prohibiting smoking on the sales floor of a retail nonsense. store. We ask that you cooperate by safely extinguishing all smoking materials in the containers provided at the entrance to the store. Thanks for not smoking. <laughs> Goes into the next song. Yeah, so that's, that's great. Uh, that's Good listening listen to, suggestion, so. yeah. Go to archive.org, look up Mark Davis. I think, I can't remember what he calls it, Kmart something or other, but uh, it's so Man, good. Man, tape -a I saw, yeah. There's so many, there's so many on there, and great, I downloaded most of them. Great resource for the quarantine. Because yeah. if there's one thing I hate, it's people yammering on about nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of that, we have a, a, a former Melinda, now a contributor, <clears throat> uh, Reese, uh, beaming in all the way from Australia. And I'm pretty excited about this segment. We taped it, uh, I don't know, yesterday and a couple days ago. And uh, it was be went better than I expected. Right? <laughs> uh, I, <laughs> I thought you were going to throw it right there. And here's oh. Reese right now. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It went great. And I, I love Reese. It was really funny. Uh, here's Reese. It's Reese, everybody. It's me. Oh, my yes. gosh. It's me. At last we meet. At last. Uh, it, only t it only took a global pandemic. I know that's not required. <laughs> well, that's what the only you... way we would have figured out Zoom anyway. So. And also, you're like you're like 16 hours ahead of us, or something ridiculous. That's right. I'm living in the future. It's yeah, great. Exactly. Send the lottery ticket numbers. <laughs> that's exactly. how it works, right? Well, well, what's happening, Reese? We know you as a, a regular singer of some of our favorite jingles. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, we, what else do you do? What's what's your deal? Well, um, I deal? also collect a lot of videos. Um, a lot of commercials and a lot of weird found footage stuff as well. Uh, I did, I've started like over a decade ago and I had a YouTube channel and that got taken down by many copyright claims. They always so, do. <laughs> so I moved over to Archive, which has been a much better place to uh, save all these videos, really. Oh, good to know. What's it called? Yeah. Uh, it's the uh, Flemish Dog Collection on uh, Archive, and there's also uh, the found footage stuff, which is VHS shit. Oh. Hey, what, that's basically what, what, what do you is. find your VHS tapes? At thrift stores um, or garage sales or where? I used to be able to, but they've like started drying up around here, which yeah, is really here. bad. Um, my friend Sam in South Australia, he's, he's my Bob Hedges, basically. Uh, he <laughs> sends me a lot of stuff. <laughs> Uh, and he's been able to keep this series alive, basically, because there's been able to find nothing, basically. Well, I've seen some of your stuff on uh, Archive, and you've sent me links to, to mm. some of your finds. And mm. you curated a bunch of stuff to show us. They specifically you wanted to show us, and you mentioned bloopers, celebrities. I did. Um, I'll start off with the bloopers, because that's probably my favorite one. You can't um, go wrong was, with bloopers. Absolutely. Uh, there was this... Uh, Chef, Australian chef called Peter Russell Clark, and uh, he's a he's a very he's a very uh, jolly sort of person. Uh, he did a lot of ads for uh, cheese, 
<laughs> eggs at the time. Um, but what many people didn't know is that uh, he sweared quite a lot uh, while making these things. Yes. Uh, so I, I have an example of one of the ads that you'll actually see in this uh, compilation to get, get an idea of this person. All right. Uh, and then we get into the uh, bloopers, which is uh, uh, something that my friend uh, James from the Australian Television Archive found. So there's a watermark over it because it's been uh, aired on TV a lot of times and they never pay him. So it's yeah. always been a, a bummer. <laughs> So here's, uh, Peter, here's Peter Russell Clark for Australian EDAM. PRC. I've been invited to a special banquet, so I'm making something special. Slice the top off a bread loaf, pull out the middle. Now, where's the cheese? Australian Edam, of course, because I reckon it's better than the imported stuff. So some Aussie Edam, some meat, some capsicum, some onion, tomato sauce, yes, yeah, splash of sauce, some more Aussie Edam, and into the oven, and serve it while it's hot. They love it at the banquet. And, uh, here Footage the... sourced from the Australian Television Archive. It's very blue. G'day. Fucking shithead here. G'day. <laughs> What's the fucking name of this cunt? Oh, g'day. Butterfingers here. Did it too early. G'day. Bernard King here. Want to show you me dick. <laughs> I've been invited to the lodge for the fucking dinner. I couldn't put the phone down. Good on you, right. Anyway, and action. G'day. I've been invited to the lodge for dinner. I'm not even a member. So I'm making something special with some broccoli and some fucking that stuff. That's carrot. Spelt c. G'day. I've been invited to something special. Get fucked. Now, <laughs> where's the cheese? Australian Eden, by the way, you cunt. <laughs> G'day. So hard boiled and shell them, roll them in flour. Press sausage fucking meat so so hard boil and chill them, roll them in flour, press sausage meat and vegetables around them, brush them with a beaten egg, cover them with breadcrumbs and fucking fry the cunts till they go black, you prick. Right, Martha? <laughs> That's family planning. Oh, but be careful. Chooks make you fucking fart. Ready? Another one, sorry. Right, Martha? So that's family planning. But be fucking careful. So there we go. That's that's <laughs> wow. that's something I quote. So many times. I mean, it's like, it's almost like, it's almost Rebney like the way. Like the Winnebago like, man, it's something yes. that I have just in my brain all the time. Can just, you give us some lines? I can. I'm invited to something special. Get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> just. I, I noticed you like lip syncing it a lot. Oh, I I I have it all memorized. It, it really is. You know, it's just <laughs> Tony. Would you do me a favor, please? <laughs> would you do me? Would you do me a kindness? Leave. Yeah. It doesn't matter to wow. me at this juncture. So Australia don't has its own jacket. Don't slam the fucking, the fucking door. door. <laughs> no <laughs> more. I don't it's want any more bullshit. Shit from anyway, anybody. That includes, that includes me. me. Oh, it's going to be very jacket. hot. It's going to be very <laughs> uncomfortable for everybody. I don't want anybody yelling. We get <laughs> any more <laughs> yelling <laughs> anymore today, and then the shit is going to hit the hit fan. The fan. It's, it's just, it's just... Bloopers are the international language. I think that's... It really is. You know what we should boundaries. do? Here's what we should... We should uh, start this. Uh, uh, Jack Rebney karaoke. You get up there and you have the lines so up. Much. And then you yeah. have Jack Rebney's video up there and you say the lines along with... What is the goddamn do? line, Tony? <laughs> I don't give a shit what the line is. Yes. Uh, I'm going to write that down so we don't yeah. forget. <laughs> that's, that's a winner. You'll be, our, you'll be our first contestant. That's a winner. What's the that's name a winner. Uh, of yeah. the, the gent from the... the uh... Uh, Peter Russell Clark. He, and yeah, what, he what's did, his, uh... You said he's a jolly fellow. Like, what is yeah, his, he was. He's a pretty G-rated uh, celebrity in Australia. Absolute, absolutely. Um, he had a five-minute cooking show before the news. Okay. Very jolly guy. Yeah. You know, where's and and that was his catchphrase. Where's the cheese? And I'm sure <laughs> I'm sure that's haunted him for the rest of his life. Wherever he goes, it's just people going, "Oh no, oh, where's the cheese?" Every time he can't I'm walk sure. down the street. Yeah. No, oh, I love him. Good, good way to kick it off. Yeah, we're off to a great start. Start off strong. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, next, I have a celebrity cavalcade. Uh, it starts off with an American ad. I don't know if you remember the the BBC Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy TV show. Vaguely, yeah. I, I remember it, that it existed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, there's um, Simon Jones. He's the one who wore the, um, uh, what is it? 
the robe a lot. Oh, right. The technicolor, was color, whatever. Yeah. He was in a robe. Um, he's, in an, he's in an ad for GTE telephones. And, he's, and it looks like he's in character for some reason. I guess it's because it's 4 a.m. And he's in, a, he's in a bathing robe and everything. But it looks like it's just him from the show. Uh, <laughs> then we have some uh, Japanese commercials that I found, uh, which uh, uh, I considered... A, 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 there's a phrase called Japandering, which is when an American actor goes over to Japan to do a commercial, but no one else is going to see. Yeah. Uh, it's a wonderful, it's a wonderful phrase. And then there are uh, two commercials from Australia at the end here with uh, some very surprising uh, uh, celebrities. Um, okay. Let's watch these first. And then I have a lot of questions for you about Australian commercials. Absolutely. Well, I have like two. Well, I'm just glad this is a cavalcade. It's a cavalcade. <laughs> it's four in the morning here at GTE. You may be asleep, but we're busy testing phone lines. There are lots of these little wizards all over the place, and they test your phone line twice a week. If there's a problem on the line, we just fix it. You won't know it. You won't even know it's been tested. After all, you don't want us calling you at four in the morning, telling you what we've done. Keep it up, big fella. GTE, we hear you better than ever. Here we have David Bowie. Crystal. Jun wow. Rock Japan. John Travolta. Just give me a signal tonight. Give me a signal tonight. Shimata no request. Tokyo Drink. Takara Kan Chuhai. Binkankakumo debut. Tokyo Drink. Sylvester Stallone. Together. What about the album base We can make dreams come true. We can make dreams come true. Naito. Yuji. Together. Kanbi. Together. He just went there and ran and then flew back. Together. Love is twice as good. Hitting Kambi. The greatest American hero, William Oh, yeah. Love him. My beer will not have any. You know, so I said, I'm not. Off Kang Kang. I'm off. He's off. I'm off. Sanju Pasento Karori. Also, he was terrible. Did you see the balls just flying everywhere? <laughs> Give me no more shots. Bryce Jones. New York time. What are we time? Seiko hybrid. <laughs> Nice. I don't think this counts, but I like it. <laughs> yeah, Cartoon Columbo. Yeah. I love the Lady Boys fan. Here's the Australian. According to Karl Marx, the battle of competition is fought by the cheapening of commodities. Well, this is just poppycock. Why is <laughs> 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 Uh, who've produced office copiers that give you an infinite range of facilities. Automatic feeding and collating, automatically copying both sides. But then Marx also said, to each according to his needs. Nashua, your number one choice in office copiers. This is a terrific Toyota commercial, and so is this. In fact, they're all terrific. What's that? If you're talking tea, you got to convince right. me. My pleasure. I'm listening. Well, listen to this. Right now, you'll get a terrific Toyota deal on Australia's <laughs> top-selling commercial range. Show by second, third, or fourth bestseller. Buy Toyota. So see your Toyota dealer now for a terrific deal. He's number one. Oh, what a Do it. Do it. Do it. Wow. Oh, oh, spe speaking of bloopers, I quote all the time, the Orson Welles. Oh, yeah. Oh, Which part? The, 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 
Which part do you quote most? The French <laughs> campaign. Whenever I pour wine, I always, uh, even if I'm by myself, ah. <laughs> it's funny to me to see which celebrities translated to diff different countries because some mm. just didn't make it over. But William Cat from the Greatest American William Cat made it to Japan. I think I. Farrah Fawcett, I have one of. Yeah, it's just a lot of weird people you wouldn't. The the British band Madness. Yeah, sure. A lot of ads for uh, the Honda City because they had a song called "Driving in My Car." So there we go. There's wow. there's a. I was surprised to see Gene Hackman. Like I've never seen. Yeah, Gene any, Hackman. I guess I guess we haven't seen a lot of these people in any commercials. Like John. Well, Travolta that's the, they really they done. don't they don't want to sully their 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 brand over right. in America. So but. but yeah, easy money over in Japan, and no one's going to see it. I like that that uh, uh, Sylvester Stallone probably went over there and just like ran in a park, and then raised Absolutely. his arms up, and then yeah. Got I have I out. have a three minute version of that commercial because it aired during something that Kieran um, sponsored, and it is just like this crazy thing where they went to America and they got all these people to hold their beer and go together. That's <laughs> great, like. I was wondering, yeah, because... if the celebrities flew to Japan to do those or if they would come there and shoot them. Like, did Mr. Yeah, P I come know. to Australia? I guess he did. Yeah. They've got all the, you know, the guy over there going, you know, but... there's, also, there's, there's a bunch of those in that too. So there's like, you know, he's like, well, I'm convinced and I'm Mr. T. <laughs> oh, yeah, there we go. Um, are we going to see some more Australian commercials? Uh, Absolutely, because you were talking about how Australian commercials are sort of a mix between the British and the, yes. and the American. There, there's, there's, there's a little bit of the British in there, but it's mostly American. And I have uh, one of the most uh, famous probably in Victoria, and it is a white goods seller called Ken Bruce. And there's a, there's a little known saying in Australia, we won't buy a, a white good unless the person who's buying it has mental deficiencies. <laughs> it's, we, we can't do it's it. It's a white good, a white good? A white good, a fridge freezes, that sort of thing. Oh, okay. All right. Like I don't know. That, and stuff? Yeah. yeah I, don't, okay. I guess that's not, a, that's not a saying over in America. No. So uh, they always start out the same way. Okay. Ken Bruce has gone mad. 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 Oh, I can't wait. All the time. Ken Bruce. I can't wait. Ken Bruce. Okay. Gone mad. Ken Bruce has gone mad. Ken Bruce has gone mad. Ken Bruce has gone mad. Ken, Ken Bruce, Bruce has, gone, has gone, gone, gone completely mad. Never got his baby Brucey's here with a huge good purchase of Westinghouse appliances. <laughs> Westinghouse fridges, Westinghouse washers, Westinghouse dryers, Westinghouse dishwashers. Most brand new. Some itsy bitsy scratchy poo. Others lounges, bedding, recondition appliances. So come on down to Ken Bruce, but hurry, cause little Brucey's getting windy poo. Oh, Whoa. that's more insane than there's, ours. There's that's a whole insane. bunch of there's a whole bunch of characters uh, Ken Bruce does. There's uh, Ken Bruce's twin sister Madonna, which is him dressed up with the the cone uh, bra and everything. And obviously, uh, the Ken baby is obviously some sort of love child between Ken Bruce and his twin sister Madonna. I wow, I, don't know. I think that's far more insane <laughs> than ours. We had Crazy TV Lenny in our in our hometown. Crazy TV Lenny was not that insane. No. no, and that would air late at night too. So that yeah. would be screaming at you while you're watching oh, reruns. Man, it would get your attention though. I mean, oh, yes. It worked. Or it makes you want to turn the channel, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was very insightful and respectful yes. about mental illness. <laughs> yes. Uh, there was one that got uh, taken off TV because there was a shot of the store outside and there were two dogs and one of them was uh, mounting the other. And that got, <laughs> that got banned because someone really? complained. Did they do yeah. that? On purpose, or was that? A I have no idea. idea. That it's, oh, okay. It must have been like, okay, we've got to get some B-roll of the outside, and oh, there's some dogs going at it. Uh, have we'll you, have you found in. that video? Have you seen that video? Uh, it was uh, shown on the. Uh, it was shown on a, a TV show called The Late Show that often play um, late night at, uh, late night commercials okay. uh, during their thing called Commercial Crime Stoppers. So you'd get all these, you know, bottom basement. Commercials oh, like my favorite kind of show. Hellos and yeah, <laughs> uh, weight loss, and, you know all that sort of thing. So yeah, wow. I think they showed, I love it, showed it on that. I want more. And Bruce, he has gone completely mad. <laughs> it's, it's sad. It's, I'm amazed they still let him run day to day business. Exactly that he can still manage to oversee the the business. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's wonderful.
He compartmentalized his insanity, I guess. What else do you have for us? Um, I have uh, two jingles. One of them is uh, my favorite. It's a uh, British one for the Southwest Electricity Board, uh, also known as SWEB. Uh, and there's also one, an American one I saw on a, uh, a recording of uh, some tiny tunes that I downloaded uh, <laughs> for uh, uh, going, going to see uh, vets uh, okay. at, at their place. Uh, I've only included the, the ending of that one because it's, it's a minute long. Uh, and you're, all you need is the, uh, the jingle. So right. here we have jingles. What's got great sounds and saves you pounds? This Sanyo audio system saved 10 pounds. What cooks in a flash and saves you cash? This sharp microwave saved 10 pounds. What does you a favor at a price you savor? This Galora video saved 20 pounds. And who's got them all at prices so small? Sweb has. Open up your eyes. Catchy. Can we hear it one more time? Can you back it up? I want to hear it one more time. Absolutely. Open up your eyes to a... It also ends on a minor key, which is a weird yeah, way to end a jingle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it kind of sounds and like the... you're saying a sweatshop in disguise. <laughs> instead of a sweb shop. Uh, the South... <laughs> The Southwest Electronic Electricity Board didn't choose the name well, yeah. apparently. I could see that getting in your head, though. I could see that totally. Oh, absolutely. When, when you were starting to do jingles, I was like, you've got to do Sweb. <laughs> <laughs> sweb. Sweb. Okay. All right, here's the, here's the end of the uh, American Vets jingle. It's very uh, power ballad. Great. Better yet, stop by and visit a vet. Talk to other volunteers. They'll show you how valuable your greatest gift really is. The greatest gift of all is yourself. Holy shit. Wow. That was powerful. Yeah. I, you don't jingle, expect it. Where's that jingle been all my life? I know it's oh. uh, uh, I'm just, just watching episodes of Tiny. Can we hear one Absolutely. more time? It, I was, just, yeah. it wouldn't. It wouldn't stop. It just kept it, it, hanging. He had on. a set of lungs. What did you say? You were watching episodes of Tiny Tunes, and then that yeah, it was just during episodes of Tiny Tunes. <laughs> and you're like, "Whoa, stop in your tracks!" <laughs> They'll show you how valuable your greatest gift really is. The is yourself. It's like the end of Stairway to, to Heaven. Is that right? <laughs> and she's by. <laughs> That's it. Honestly, uh, it's like a 30 second commercial. The last 15 seconds are, is that jingle that that yeah that's that you could just put that on your own i bet you could sing that one i bet you can i think i and honestly i think in terms of veterans i think there is a greater gift than yourself i think proper health (laughs) care i think uh money yes they come back all just just visit them just visit yeah Yeah. toys here we go can we hear it reese can you do it Ooh. He's still going. Oh, yes, that's, that's tough. Wow, that was God. beautiful. I'm, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to use those uh, vocal exercise VHS tapes. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. I'm we'll putting them together. Those. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've remember? got a couple. I've, I've got a couple of drum ones too. Oh yeah, those are good. Oh yeah, those are we got we got to do put together. We you know have that that concept of having a whole band uh, come together. <laughs> That's all you need. Just the instructional videos for the vocalist, the bass player, the guitarist, and the drummer. You have a whole band. I know. Yeah, absolutely. And hit play at the same time on all yeah. of them. Uh, well, it's hard to top those uh, jingles. I might ask you to sing a little bit of the sweb on the way out, but but <laughs> first, what else do you have? Here? 
for us? Uh, we have some Tedium. Woo-hoo! Wow. Now, do you have your own graphic for Tedium, or do you want me to, I, I to do, edit I do. I do not have. You'll okay. have to edit it in. I'll do like a really quick version. I'll edit it in right now. Break it up! There. This is uh, how to make cocktails at home. Uh, I decided to edit only the parts where the person is not speaking. So it's just a lot of wet noises, <laughs> lots of drinks being made. I had to carefully trim out any time you talk. I didn't want any of that. Get to see all that. <laughs> the drink does look really good, though. Oh yeah, they're, they're really nice drinks. Oh, I like the music change. Elegant. He talks there. I had to cut it. He didn't want any of that. No, no, that's no, no. how we make a blowjob. <laughs> And that's the sex on the beach. <laughs> I love that sound. Or I hate it, I can't tell. <laughs> oh. Oh, now we're getting fun. Now we're having some fun. See, the microphone's right by his, right yeah, by his ear. You can see it. Yep, you gotta get that ice. Plunk the ice. Plunk enough ice in there. Plunk more ice. Plunk in ice. Plunk in ice. When you're making cocktails at home, you have to have a big dish of ice. Yeah, you need a huge... You haven't repeated anything yet, right? This is the no, whole no, 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 okay. absolutely. This hey, if, if everybody's quarantined, I think this these tips can come in handy. It's a big chin up. A lot of loud this shoveling is some of ice. Tedium. This is some solid tedium. Extremely satisfying to watch. I, yeah, there we go. I love having tedium catered to me. I don't normally get that. Oh, I like the lady watching. Oh yeah, she she's been there the entire time. Or of course, she's the one who's been talking. But not the to see. Look at that watermelon. That looks like a delicious. Oh, drink. that that's a Nick Pruer drink right that there. That looks like a delicious. Oh, we got a little. <laughs> it took seven takes. It's a nice cold bev. Not interested. I I asked for a martini. <laughs> I, I there were more, but I had to stop it there. Is that was, like, was that oh, that's good? Was that oh. an American video or was that Australian? That was a, that was an Australian video. Yeah, definitely. Nice. Let, hey, let let's wrap up Tedium Corner with some excitement. There we go. Thank All you, right. Reese. <laughs> we have uh, self defense. Now, right. what I've done here is I've only Wait, edited pa- in. Hit pause. I've only ed- hit pause. Though we need to we need to kick things off with uh, Nick's intro on this one. Uh, so it's Nick's excitement corner by way of Reese. Uh, right, so go. this is uh, this is all the uh, reenactments. I've, I've cut out all the parts where they show you how to do the parts. Because all, that's all you need. Right. So we'll see Cut to the person train. get in trouble, person get in trouble, and then get out of that trouble. Is this Australian? Uh, this is American. Okay. Now, most of us would feel safe walking in the park in the middle of the day. But just how safe are you? This young lady is preoccupied with other thoughts. So she is completely unaware of what is about to happen to her. What are her options? 
This is where the main cuts. lesson here is that if you are totally aware of your surroundings, you may be able to avoid a confrontation altogether. That's excitement. That's some solid excitement. As you can see, she's learned to break her fall with both her arms. Uh, now let's see how she escapes. From the denim man. <laughs> What's a they're, denim? They're always just covered head to toe in jeans. That's how you know it's a bad person. A yeah. couple. Oh no, <laughs> get that nice couple. <laughs> Nice see a Dalmatian? Oh, is she wearing a Rorschach test? Yeah. The couple is enjoying each other's company. They are totally unaware that they are being watched by two thugs. I know he's got a butter knife. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? Okay. Good, how are hey, you? Your wallet, man. Or he's gonna cut it. Hey, man, I don't have any money. If I did, I would. Hey, man, I don't have any denim. <laughs> this couple took a chance that their assailants. Oh, yeah. Jerks like you. <laughs> yeah, I hey man, I don't have any money. If I did, I wouldn't give it to a couple oh, jerks yeah. like you. Oh. 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 This couple took a chance that their assailants were bluffing, and it worked out to their advantage. <laughs> oh, there we go. But remember, each situation is different. He escaped by using one opponent as a weapon against the other. Child attacked by two Where'd she boys. come from? Child. Which one, man? No! I'm taking notes here. He's wearing right. Bart Simpson's outfit. Oh, no. First and foremost, children should be taught the importance of being aware of strangers. If a stranger does not leave you alone, it is your right to use whatever means necessary to defend yourself. But of course, if at all possible, avoid the confrontation. This is the smartest self-defense. Children are abducted every day. This child believes he has a safe path around the car and the stranger. But as you can see, it is not as safe as he thought. Didn't even give me candy. Hey! My plan of parking the on the curb. The important lesson to be learned here <laughs> is children should not be afraid to fight back when I like how squeaky his here. door was. And to yell out and draw the attention of others to the scene. <laughs> yeah, that car doesn't turn. Hell, man. I don't have the watch. Look at me. Look at me. Off he comes. As you can wow. see. This elderly man has used just enough force the to defend him. Faking a limp. But the elderly man is also a businessman. For business people, carrying a briefcase is a matter of necessity. He carries his cane in his briefcase. It's the butter knife again. I'm gonna butter you <laughs> good. <laughs> briefcase in. Oh, you can have it. Hey. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. Remember, any object can be used. To your advantage. Strangers so there we go. There's some there's some excitement. Oh, there's some excitement. Wow. I had to balance it out. A little nice. bit of both. Yeah. The universe is right again. Thank you, Reese. Oh man, I've never seen that video. That's a that's a great one. What's I it like, called? Yeah. Uh self-defense for everybody or everyone. Okay. okay. Yeah. It's oh. it's no Lorenzo Lama's self-defense workout what like, is you know what yeah. is right yeah we've had like we had one called raising canes that was all about how to use canes as weapons as well so that must have been a whole genre we featured oh, yeah, it once absolutely. but it's so homemade and it's not oh it's yeah not very well done not as well as that was it's unwatchable you'd love it race <laughs> i would i would yes you're right do you have uh, anything else uh, that's all the clips I have. Well, tell us how people can see, because I know you you upload these videos in their in their entire like in uh, their yeah. entirety. So how do um, you if you go onto archive.org and put in quotes VHS shit, uh, you'll be able to find uh, a lot of them. I have to up I have to upload some more. It's constantly being updated. But um, yeah, very prolific. Found, uh, Wow, so we could just go there and we could get that self-defense video and just download yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, that's that's oh, up there. Sweet. 
I got my nice up there, right? Right? Yeah. So since you can't get to the office, I mean, there's 400 videos at the moment that you could just go through at the moment. There's a you and there's a there's one for you, Joe. There's you uh, you and your uh, you and your cat. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh. I'm just going through the list. What here. What about me and Mike? What about you and your cat? Just like just 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 getting one, uh, okay. taking care of it, you know, okay. all that sort of stuff. Uh, I know I know. Um, George you gotta feed showed, them, right? Uh, you gotta feed them, yes, right? Yes, okay. that's important. Oh, I know George showed um, harvesting manual harvesting of mushrooms. That's just one mushroom video. There's also Merban mushrooms, which I think is just them saying, "Hey, we we make mushrooms." Is that a, is that a tedium? Oh, I don't know if that's quite tedium, but okay. harvesting of manual it, mushrooms definitely. It sounds is. exciting. Yeah, maybe it's a good one for the next excitement corner. There's so, uh, if you are stuck in quarantine, I mean, there's, yeah, you're, there's tons of the videos. The list goes on and on here. Amazing. Gift, gifted oh. hands, the Ben Carson story before he. Um, oh, we have that one. Yes, yeah, before he one. started uh, doing whatever it does. Advising the president, yeah. Yes. Hey, what's your, what's your uh, background with singing? Like, are you a singer or are you just... You I know? used to sing uh, at school, but that's okay. about it. Yeah, and now and it's just it a, recreation yeah, just, of jingles. Like, that's... Absolutely. That's, okay. all, that's, that's all that goes through my head all day. So I'm just thinking... Because you can really... Like you that. built it out. I think it's maybe the, oh, yeah. like 50% confidence and like 50% confidence. voice. It's just absolutely just the confidence in the yes. Yeah. Well, that having been said, can you take us out with a little sweb? <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> Gotta get into the into the uh, minor yeah, key yeah, yeah. mindset. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take all the time you need. Open up your eyes to a sweb shopping surprise. <laughs> 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 Minor chord to end it. Yes. Oh wow, Nailed great it. ending. Thank yes. you, Reese, for doing this. Let's do it again. I mean, I'd love to have you create Absolutely. more videos. Oh, we time. have to have you on more regularly. You got so much good stuff. Absolutely. Let's do it. Stay safe over there in Australia. We'll talk soon. Thank you very much. Okay, there it was. Oh, There's yeah. Reese. Good old uh, Reese. Uh we gotta have him back again. We mentioned it, but uh he, he has that uh page on archive.org, the same place where the Kmart tapes are. Uh, that has even more of his, uh, his 400 plus videos that he's digitized. So check him yeah. out. Um, yeah. Uh, okay. So I have two more things real quick. Um, somebody emailed this week, Phineas emailed subject line was, Hey Joe, please no more turd flush. And then the body of the email said, please never again. I don't want to stop watching, but the filth must cease. Thank you. And this has not been the first email that I've received about this. It probably will not be the last I've received about it. And uh, it hasn't been all bad. I've gotten some people that were just like, oh, yeah, Turd Flush is a lot of fun. I can't wait to see what's, what happens next week. I need to email you to stop doing it. Yeah, well, and then I heard from you, and I hear things in the comments, and it sounds like it's not that popular of a segment. <laughs> and, you know, I'm a host of a show. I, you know, produce these segments. I, I can take a hint, and I think uh, it, it's, with, it's with heavy heart that I – must say that I'm going to discontinue Turd Flush. Uh, so season one <laughs> has come to an end. So wow. uh, to do that, I put together a little video, just a little retrospective of uh, Turd Flush from season one. So if you guys would indulge me, it's a... Uh, this is kind of like, it's, it's like the season finale of Cheers. This is the, the series finale of Cheers. where we just Yeah, like, it is. Yeah, reflect, yeah. Reflect, you're a little drunk. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. So here's a turd flash to look back. Oh, I remember that. Yep, that was a tough one. Beneath my wings. Yeah, I think it's the Kmart version. Nope. Uh, we hardly knew you. What a week that was. Yeah. So uh, wow. that's it. That's well, it. You know, the the season one it will be on Netflix. They're they're putting all the season one from Turd Flush up on Netflix. So you'll have oh, deleted that's cool. both, You'll have both of those up there. And uh, the first episode credits roll and it rolls right into the next one, five seconds left. And then that's how they do it. Yeah. That's how they, they want you to binge it. Right. Yeah. 
Uh, wow. One, one more quick thing. I want one more quick thing. I want to okay. do a hypothetical with Nick. Hypotheticals with Nick are my, one of my favorite things in the world, and I want it to be a new segment on Quarantine Classics. And I, the- I saw this in the, uh, the rundown. I'm just simply not going to answer it. And we're running <laughs> short on time, so I'm afraid this will have to wait. No, no, no. No, no, no. Listen. Quarantine Classics. We'll see you next week, Listen, everybody. listen, listen, listen. So here's, here's, what, here's, what, here's how it goes. So um, the hypothetical, and I already know the answer to this because we've already done it with our, with our group of friends, but Steve and George, you guys do not know, and the Melindas do not know the answer to this. Let's, honestly, let's save this because I think this deserves more time. It, it's going to take me two seconds to just okay. read what it is. Okay. The hypothetical question for Nick, he has two options. He has gun to the head. He has to do one of them. Would he rather use the word orgasmic around his mom 12 times in a what? year? My mom who a- watches this, this show, right? Yep. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. You're talking directly to my mother right now. And, and use the word orgasmic like as an adjective. Like, <laughs> like, oh, I had this vegan cupcake and it was absolutely orgasmic. Like Sounds like something I'd say. Casually. Yeah. And he couldn't, he couldn't tell her that he's having to no, use the She word knows now, but go ahead. No, but this is hypothetical. Okay. Uh, or would he rather call his dad, daddy, 12 <laughs> times in one year? Of those two, I have the answer to this question uh, in video form that I will tell next week on quarantine classics. oh i see it's a tease okay it's a tease so yeah. next week on quarantine's classics i do have the answer to this question nick has already told me what he would rather do steve what do you think he would rather do uh i think he's gonna go with daddy okay george i think he's gonna go with orgasmic really interesting yeah. okay place your bets everybody the answer <laughs> will be revealed next week on quarantine classics plus on tuesday i'm gonna be doing the show for my new treadmill and playing clip from the sexy treadmill workout oh it's gonna be orgasmic stuff, so yeah <laughs> So I hope Daddy will be watching, and uh, stay tuned <laughs> There's to the one. show. Uh, that's all. That's it, everybody. We'll be that's right back right after we that. Better, we do better. My nose isn't full of yuck anymore. Uh, you did it. You did it. Yes. There we go.